hi guys welcome back to my channel now i realize i never did a proper introduction introduction video you know about myself and i was raised with manners i should have known better right anyways let's get into it so my name is juliana jules and that's what i decided to name my channel it was simple i didn't want anything to be extra but I'm actually reconsidering that because there's so many people with my name. But Juliana is the name that my mother gave me, you know, when I was in her tummy. Um, she chose that name for me because she was an avid reader and she just liked the name. But I looked into it. I can't remember exactly what the meaning is right now, but I know it has Portuguese, Italian and Spanish origins. And there was a queen, Juliana. Again, I don't remember what country it was from, but you know it's fitted yeah i'm actually reading some of the questions off of here because i can't remember now where am i from i'm originally from saint vincent's and the grenadines yes i said that before um i'm from a little village called cedars yeah cedars <sighs> i'm smiling because i miss home but anyways i live in canada now I've lived here for 21 years. So some will say I'm more Canadian than Vince, but whatever. You guys can take all my birthright. And like I said, my name is Juliana. I didn't even realize because growing up, I was called Julie. So I never knew my name was Juliana until I was about 12 years old when I got my first passport. And, you know, back then growing up, parents kept a lot from you. I didn't even know my grand. Well, I knew my grandparents' name because I had to take care of a lot of things for them, like going to the post office. Um, my grandfather had like a, a banana plantation and stuff, so he'll sell bananas and stuff, like what you see in the store now, like the green bananas and stuff. So sometimes I'll have to go pick up the checks and stuff like that. And that's how I knew their names. So I have my first passport here, you know, like the old ones from back in the day. And when I went to go sign my passport, I put, I signed my name wrong. I put two N's instead of one. Don't mind the, uh, this was years ago, y'all. Don't mind that picture. So I signed my name with two N's, but it's spelled with one. So they had to put, um, if they had to reissue the whole passport, it would have taken time and I was getting ready to like fly out and stuff. So they just put a piece of plastic, a white paper there and I had to re-sign over that. Imagine not knowing your name. <sighs> Embarrassment. But yeah, let's see what other questions are here. So that's, you know, how I came up with, and I, I don't like the name Julie. I really don't. Only if someone that knew me, you know, growing up or a family member calls me Julie, I'll respond. But I really don't, I really don't like that name. Um, Jules is acceptable, Juliana preferably, but you know, either one, fine. Um, why did I start a YouTube channel? It was by fluke. Originally, I started posting videos about seven years ago. I only posted two videos at a time. I think it was about New Year's Eve or New Year's Day or whatever. My friend and I were drinking and we were drunk, you know, whatever. And we recorded the videos and I put them up and I just forgot. I honestly, I forgot about, I forgot about it. I'm always on YouTube watching other people's videos and I didn't even think about it. But now that it's quarantine time, I'm home um, because I'm on maternity leave from my work. So I'm home most days and, you know, when the kids are sleeping on my downtime, I'm like, this is when I can research stuff and, you know, put information out there and stuff like that. So that's how all that came about. I have four kids. I have an 18-year-old, a 13-year-old, a 17-month-old, yeah, 17-month-old, and a 5-month-old. I think I have one too many kids, y'all. I'm, I'm good. Enough, enough. Uh, what will my channel be about? <sighs> I've been watching a lot of, you know, newcomer YouTube videos and they always say, pick a certain topic, pick a certain topic or a certain genre or whatever. But my mind is all over the place. Like I'm an over, 
thinker, okay? I'm an overthinker. It's not the best thing because sometimes I'll be thinking about scenarios and crying, you know, about the what ifs. Ugh. So I'm going to be all over the place at first maybe and then maybe I might slim it down to like one particular. But why? Like, I don't think I need to at this point. You guys let me know. But we'll see how it goes. Um, what is my target audience? Again, I don't really have a target audience. There's room out here for everybody. There's always, there's so many different people with so many different needs. Again, I don't think I have to, oh, I don't think I need to like, you know, narrow it down. But again, as time goes by, we will see what happens. Um, yes. Oh, and what do I do for work? I'm a revenue administrator for a property management company. But as I said before, I'm on maternity leave until about October. My son was born in January, but I left, I came on maternity leave pretty early in October. So I have until October to go back. Uh, what other questions should I answer? What do I hope to achieve with my channel? You know, just creating fun, informative content. Like I have a lot of ideas, a lot of ideas. It's just a matter of researching and putting together the information. Cause you know, right now I'm starting out, so I'm not like, I'm like, whatever, I'm all over the place, but I'm currently researching information to put together because I want it to be educational. I don't want to just be talking about stupidness, right? So I want it to be fun and informative for people because I know there's a lot of, I'm currently working on a project of how to get rid of your criminal record in Canada, if you live in Canada. So that'll be one of my, my next videos. Uh, yeah, and then we'll go from there and see what happens. I'll see what I'm gonna be releasing a lot of different things and I'll see what people respond to the most and then I'll I'll take it from there. You can also put in the comment section what you know what you'd like to hear me talk about kind of thing. Um three things you should know about me. Well, I already said I'm from St. Vincent. I love, I love, 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 love my country. I always say that I was stolen. Cause I think if I had the option to leave i don't think i would have left but at the same time i think i left at the right time because i was taken out of a situation so i left at the right time but i don't know i think i left too early and i don't get to go home as often as i would like i was actually supposed to be going home next month in august and because of the whole corona thing i can't go and I've only gone back maybe three or four times since I've been here, since in the 20 something years I've been here. It's heartbreaking, y'all. Um, I have six tattoos. This one on my arm, it's my daughter, my first daughter's name and her date of birth. The reason why there's a huge gap here, her picture should have went in there, but I never went back and got it done. Um, I think I'm gonna make a videos I'm going to make a video. I think I'm going to make a video discussing about the tattoos, you know, about regrets and what not to do. Um, what is the hardest thing about becoming a YouTuber? Um, probably getting subscribers. Probably getting subscribers. Because in order to get monetized, which will be one of my goals eventually... You have to have 1,000 subscribers minimum and 4,000 watch hours. So I think that's what it is. Um, that's one of the hardest things. That's not the only thing. Another thing would be retaining the audience because people have short attention span. Um, so I'm hoping this will be a short video because I know not everyone's going to watch it today. Um, do I see myself being on YouTube for a long time? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I can't really answer that. One thing I've learned in life is never 
set things in stone because your opinions and situations change all the time. So I can say yes now and then five months down the road, you know. Um, do you have any tips or advice for others who are just starting a YouTube channel? Don't do that sub for sub. Because I know it's a big thing on Instagram where you put sub for sub and then you subscribe to somebody else's channel, send them proof that you did and they'll subscribe to your channel. But a lot of people aren't playing fair with that. They'll go subscribe, send you the proof, and then upscribe, unsubscribe after. And it's hard to keep track of who's doing what. And it's also against the community guidelines, which I didn't know at first. That could eventually lead to you losing your channel. So I would say don't use that. I would say don't spend a lot of money in equipment. Like right now I'm recording on my phone. I bought a ring light off Amazon for $55 Canadian, including taxes, but it's not working the best for me right now. So I think I'm gonna return that and actually spend a bit more money investing. And the only reason why I'm doing that is because the part where it's supposed to hold the phone keeps flopping over. So it's not, and I called them and I talked to them about it. They gave me a $10 credit that's not enough because it doesn't fix the issue so i think i'm going to return it and get a better a better one um and i'm recording on my phone right now i bought this background thing which i have to reinstall it because it shouldn't be showing the yellow paint there but i bought that off amazon for about 23 dollars canadian as well i also need to get a steamer because i should have i have a lot of natural light right now but when I put the natural light, it shows the creases on it. So I need I need to get a steamer or maybe I should just iron it out with my iron to make it better. Your list, oh, your favorite thing about the YouTube community. If you do your research, there's a lot of information out there from other YouTubers that will tell you what to do and what not to do. It's just a matter of listening and applying the information that's out there. Um, Three reasons anyone should, should sub oh, I can't talk y'all. Three reasons anyone should subscribe to your channel. Number one, give me a chance. That's all I'm asking for. Give me a chance, stick around. Maybe there might not be anything that you like right now, but eventually, you know, you can also unsubscribe after, but for now, just give me a chance. Um, number two, chances are there are probably some videos here that you might find interesting like the one that i put out about my father finding and searching for my father a lot of people have reached out to me behind the scenes that i'm friends with or just acquaintances that reached out and said oh i've gone through the same situation i didn't know that you know maybe that's why we became friends and you know so i'll probably be releasing stuff that a lot of people will relate to another one um i don't know i can only come up with two y'all if you like me you like me if you don't you don't that's fine i feel that there's space out there for everyone so eventually there will be i'll get enough subscribers that i need to and ones that stick around uh and going back on that one about having tips or advice, have confidence, have confidence because people will say I'm shy. I don't think I'm shy at all. It's just that I'm, I wouldn't say I'm not a people person. It depends. I think it's an energy thing for me because growing up, my grandma always used to say, my spirit don't take them or their spirit don't take me or something like that. She always used to say, I think it, it, it just depends on, on, I don't know because at first I might seem shy, but once you get to know me, you'll be like, girl, shut up. You talk too much. So I don't know. Um, if I could collaborate now, who would it be with? I don't have anyone particular in mind. Like I'll be doing videos with my friends. Another cool idea that I'm currently working on. My friend who's gonna be doing surgery because she has, um, I can't remember the term right now. Her th she has thyroid issues. So that's prevented her from losing weight and stuff like that. And she 
in Canada, you can get um, our health coverage will cover you to get the surgery done. Um, but there's so many things that you have to be approved for and, and stuff like that. So she's going to be talking. I'll, I'll be interviewing her and she'll be talking about the process, about how to get approved, applying and getting approved and all that. So I think that would be really good information for someone out there. Um, which channel already on YouTube will yours most likely be? Um... I don't want to be like like anyone else. I want I'm just going to be myself. If you find me similar to someone else, then so be it. You know, there's so many people in this world. No one in this world is unique. No one is. You might think, "Oh, I only have a mole right there," but then there's a million other people that have it. So, you might be going through an issue and say, "Oh my god, I'm the only person that's going through it." Chances are you are not. Trust me. Um, and life is just too short, y'all. Sometimes you just got to take a risk. Um, one of the hardest things is finding support. I know I'm, I'm bouncing all over the place, right? Sometimes you say something and then thoughts come back after. But I'm just going to finish it up with this. One of the hardest things is finding support. Because I have over... maybe over 500, do I have 500 friends? I have a lot of friends on Facebook and I have about 175 followers, like people that are not on my friends list, but they just follow me. And and I didn't even realize I had that many until the other, I found it by accident, actually. And you would think that with so many people that I have there that I would have gotten you know, a lot of subscribers already. And I'm not gonna disclose, I turned off my subscribers that's another tip out there for new subscribers turn off your subscriber count where others can't see it um so i would think that i, I would have gotten a lot of subscriptions already but i don't like there are people that i'm subscribed to that i don't even like really watch their videos like that but i will i've subscribed to them to give them the support and sometimes i'll go in and watch you know a, a few clips of their their videos just to give them that view and like the video or even make a comment or whatever just for support but not everyone has that mindset and and that's fine that's fine um but yeah i'm not sure if there's anything else that i need to put out if you feel that there's you know other questions that i should have answered or you feel that there's something you want to ask me feel free to do so in the comment section and i will answer you i promise you i will um and maybe i might do a part two to this as well but yeah, so far I'm enjoying it. I can't edit y'all, I can't edit, I'm trying to get it. Right now my 18 year old is doing it for me and I know she's annoyed. Oh, my battery's running low. I know she's annoyed at me right now and she's gonna be starting college in September so I'm gonna have to like get on my game, you know? But if you've stayed with me this long, thank you for watching. Please click like, make a comment and subscribe. Sus oh lord subscribe y'all subscribe <laughs> okay thank you for watching bye